Alright, so for some reason, right, apparently this this old story from back in 2018, 2019 is starting to break through again, right, on my timeline. And I don't understand why this pops back up, but apparently it's probably been over the rate it's probably been under the radar and nobody said something about it. So let's speak on it for a little bit. So is a I'm choose more words carefully here. The person named CC Telfair, right? Who she um sorry, this person ran track as a man for three years at Franklin Pierce University. Right, three years. And the person finished probably I think at best 65th or whatever either sophomore or junior year so apparently this person wasn't really getting it done or whatever so then their the, this person's senior year this person decides to be a transgender and become a woman and this person still decides to run track but now he as a he as a woman now, so they apparently they allowed it they allowed it, they allowed it to happen. So senior year, CC ends up winning the four hundred meter hurdles in the, in the national championship. Ends up I think it was division two. Ends up winning like yeah ends up winning the four hundred meter hurdle in the nationals. So. Apparently there were there were articles about how she didn't like there's no benefits when when being a transgender woman and how I guess during the season or whatever during the 400 meters like how she had finished fifth and um, and she was complaining about how she how about how there CC was running with other women and he was saying oh well. I finished fifth, so that obviously means that there were four other biological women who beat me. And this honestly is a very touchy topic to where if you choose one side, you're you're offending you're offending the other. If you choose the other side, you're offending the other. So I honestly want to choose my words carefully and I, I do want to say this. Everybody has an opinion, right? Every anything sports related, anything is a matter of opinion, right? So, my opinion is that CC should not be running with females if you were born a man. If you were born a man, and cause it's like the way. A lot of people look at it as like you were you were running as a man for three years and then your senior year you decide to you want to be a woman because you couldn't win on the men's side you wanted to be a woman so that you can win on the women's side I mean if you ask me this sounds like this is along the same lines as the Wonder man like, like you know for, for all the young people if you never watched Joanna Man before, you're too young. But this is this is along the same lines of that. But a lot of people are going to look at it as, yo, like you couldn't win as a man, so you had to be go to the woman's side and win and win that way. And you know, a lot of people were like complaining about it, like, yo, how can we let a man, you know, a person who's born a man, run with women? Like, it ain't fair. And if you're asking me for my opinion about something, I do think it's unfair. I think it's very unfair that you have women who've been women their entire lives training because that person that you beat could have won the, the could have won the championship. But you decide to be a woman when you weren't born a woman. And you take the shine away from them. Like, 
you take the shine away from people who were born a female and ran on the female side. Because, look at it like this, right? If you can choose anybody in the NBA, any dude in the NBA who's been a bench player, who, who probably plays six, seven minutes a night, scores two, three points a game, that person decides all of a sudden to just be a female and wants to play in a WNBA because she wants to be considered a female. How do you think the WNBA looks? Where this person went from scoring two points a game in the NBA to scoring 30 points in the WNBA and a three-time MVP winner and a four-time WNBA champion. How do you think the WNBA will look at that? Like, there has to be a fine line somewhere where, yeah, it may be like, yeah, we we welcome freedom of speech. But there has to be a line drawn somewhere to where, yeah, like, we, we accept your right to be a, a female or we accept your right to be a man. But you just can't do this. Like you, like you just can't just just go to the women's side just because you want to be a woman. Like, like you have to look at it from both angles here. You know, and and I think that yeah, like and as for my opinion about about Cece, I think it's wrong that Cece was allowed to run with females when this person wasn't born a female. And you take a championship away from somebody who really, really deserved it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just don't make sense to me. Like, and, and I'm sure, and I'm sure that you know the woman's parents were very, very upset and had a right to. You know, it, shit, hell, this the this same year in 2019, it happened. At a high school with two female who with, with, with two people who were transgender and both of them won got first and second place in nationals. They got first and second place, respectively. So yeah, I think there has to be a fine line when it comes to women's sports, you know, somewhere because it just it just takes the fun out of it, honestly. Like you're not gonna see no male in, in in the NBA change his gender and then play in the WNBA. Now if that happens, then look, I don't know where women's sports stands at, at, at this point, right? But I do believe this though. I believe there has to be a guideline somewhere. I don't know if it changed already because this story came out in 2019, so I don't know if it happened already, but. I mean, that has to be a line drawn somewhere.